Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. College basketball's regular season is coming to a close this weekend, and we've got another Big Ten battle on Sunday between the Michigan Wolverines traveling on the road at the Indiana Hoosers on their senior night. Who do I think is going to win this basketball game? Let's break it down. Now, Michigan overall, they're on the bubble and hanging on for their tournament lives, and they're 17-13 and 13 and 11-8 and eight in the Big Ten right now. And and Juwan Howard, he's been the head coach for Michigan for the past few seasons, taking over from John Beeline. And Michigan has taken a step back from where they were as a program when John Beeline was the head coach of Michigan. But Juwan Howard's trying, and he's doing everything he possibly can to get Michigan into the tournament this year. They squeaked into the tournament last year, and they have a really good chance to find their way back into the tournament this year if they can find a way to beat Indiana on the road. And overall, Michigan this season's had some up and down struggles. They lost to Central Michigan in the non-conference at home. That was their worst loss of the season. And they couldn't beat North Carolina or Kentucky. Kentucky in the non-conference, but they have had some good wins in the Big Ten, and that's why they have an above 500 record, the exact same record as Indiana does right now, which is kind of surprising to think, especially considering Indiana's safely in the tournament, Michigan's on the bubble. But Michigan, they just lost a heartbreaker to Illinois on the road in double overtime, so if they can shake off that loss and play really hard again, then they might have a good chance to beat the Hoosers. And Hunter Dickinson, he's having a special season. He's averaging 17.6 points per game and 8.6 rebounds per game. He's an overlooked player in college basketball because because of the fact that Michigan has had struggles this season. It hasn't been one of the better teams in college basketball, but he shouldn't be overlooked. He's still having a great season, and overall, if Hunter Dickinson continues to play well, he might find a way to get the Wolverines in the tournament. Jet Howard's averaging 14.4 points per game and 2.7 rebounds per game. Jawan Howard's son's been playing at a high level as a freshman, and he's going to be a one-and-done, and his level of play is another reason why Michigan's even a solid team this year, because if it wasn't for Hunter Dickinson and Jet Howard, Michigan would really be struggling. Kobe Bufkin's averaging 13.4 points per game, 4.2 two rebounds per game and 2.8 assists per game. Kobe Bufkin's been the third leading scorer for Michigan this year, and he's been really solid. Now, he does disappear at times and have games where he plays poorly, but when he's locked in on offense and on defense, he's a really special player. Doug McDaniel's averaging 8.2 points per game, 3.1 rebounds per game, and 3.4 assists per game. Doug McDaniel's had to step up for Michigan this year as a freshman after Jalen Llewellyn and the Princeton transfer got hurt, but Doug McDaniel's actually done a solid job in his absence, and he's running the Michigan offense fairly well. Terrence Williams averaging 6.6 .6 points per game is 6.3 rebounds per game. He's a solid front court player for Michigan. He needs more offense to be a really good player for the Wolverines, but he does play pretty good defense. And Joey Baker, the Duke transfer, and Terrace Reed also provide significant contribution for the Wolverines. And Michigan this season is scoring 73.9 points per game on offense, and on defense they're allowing 69.5 points per game. And overall, that's the biggest reason why Michigan's had struggles, because they're a team that's a solid offensive team, but they're not elite. And on defense, they have times where they fall asleep and they don't play well on that side of the ball. If they had a better defense, then they could be a really good a team like Purdue and that's the biggest reason why Purdue's a great team because they play much better defense than a team like Michigan because Michigan has the athleticism and the talent to be really good but they just don't play good enough defense to be able to get a lot of big wins when their offense can't carry them to victory. Now on the Indiana side, they're 20 and 10 and 11 and 8 in the Big Ten this season. And Mike Woodson, he's in his second year as the Indiana head coach. And overall, Indiana has taken steps forward as a program this year. And a lot of Hoosier fans are happy that Indiana's starting to get back on the map. But Indiana's had a season that's not as good as it could have been. They could have been better this season if injuries hadn't gone their way. And they played a bit better in a few of the games that they lost. But overall, Indiana's still having a solid season. And Hoosier fans should be proud of the progress that they've made. And Indiana this season's gotten some big wins in the non-conference. They beat Xavier in North Carolina, but they've also had some struggles in the Big Ten. They've got swept by Northwestern. They've had some other struggles, but Indiana also was able to beat Purdue twice, but last time out, they just lost to Iowa at home, and that was a really tough loss, but this is a huge game for Indiana because it's senior night, and Indiana's lost their last three senior night games. They lost to Wisconsin, Michigan, and Rutgers the past three seasons, and the last time they won on senior night was during the Romeo Langford Jawan Morgan year when they beat Rutgers, and for Indiana, you have Trace Jackson Davis. You cannot lose on his senior night. Jackson Davis has been one of the best players in Indiana basketball history, and this season he's averaging 20 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 blocks. And for Indiana to cap off the great career that he's had at Indiana, they need to win on their senior night and do some special things in March Madness to be able to really send off Jackson Davis in a great way for the Hoosiers. And Jalen Hochefino is averaging 13 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. And Jalen Hochefino, he's been a great player for Indiana this year as a freshman. And he's had to step up with Xavier Johnson out with a broken foot. And he could return in this game, but no confirmation of that has been made. But Jalen Hochefino has been great alongside Jackson Davis, and he's 
run their pick and roll really well with him and getting a lot of lobs and doing a lot of back screens to get mid-range shots and overall he's just a great player he could be a one and done this season and Miller Cops averaging eight points per game and 2.4 rebounds per game he's been a great shooter this season for Indiana with Trace Jackson Davis demanding so much attention down low and with Jackson Davis is better passing it's really helped players like Miller Cop to be able to get way more open looks and Race Thompson's averaging 7.6 points per game and 4.9 rebounds per game Race Thompson's been good this year but he did get hurt in the Iowa game when Tony Perkins fell into his leg and overall if Race Thompson can just continue to provide stability for Indiana on the offensive and defensive side of the ball even if he's not playing as well as he was before the injury he's still a really good glue guy for Indiana and Trey Galloway's averaging 7.3 points per game 2.9 rebounds and 1.9 assists per game Trey Galloway's a do-it-all guard for Indiana he does a lot of things well nothing really great but overall he's just a player that's a good shooter he's really good at defense and he plays with a lot of heart and hustle for the Hoosers and Indiana is also getting significant contributions from Malik Renew, Tamar Bates, and Jordan Geronimo. And Jordan Geronimo has been banged up, so he might not be available for this game. But Indiana still has enough depth to get the win over Michigan. And this season, Indiana is averaging 75.3 points per game. And on defense, they're only giving up 68.3 points per game. And overall, Indiana is a team that's gotten a lot better on the offensive side of the ball than they were a year ago. But their defense is nowhere near as good as it was last season. And besides Trace Jackson Davis, who's improved on the defensive side of the ball this year, Indiana's other players need to step up on the defensive side of the ball if Indiana is going to be a team that could go far in March Madness. So who do I think is going to win this Big Ten regular season finale? Michigan is going to have to shake off the double overtime loss that they suffered against Illinois if they're going to be able to go on the road and get this win at Indiana. And Michigan knows they need this game if they want to make the NCAA tournament because if they don't win, it could be lights out for Michigan and they're not going to be able to make the tournament and they'll have to play in the NIT. And I think that Jawan Howard, even though he hasn't done as good of a job as John Beeline as the Michigan head coach, he's still doing a solid job and he has gotten his players committed to playing really good basketball in the Big Ten after they had some struggles in the non-conference, especially after that Central Michigan loss. They could have thrown in the towel, but they're playing much better. And I think if Hunter Dickinson can hold his own against Trace Jackson Davis, and if Jet Howard and Kobe Bufkin can make shots and Doug McDaniel passes the ball really well in this game, then Michigan can get this win against Indiana. And Indiana themselves, they've lost their last three senior night games, as I said earlier, and Indiana needs to play hard on senior night to get this win for Trace Jackson Davis, who's had a decorated career at Indiana, and they can't lose this game on senior night. If Indiana loses Trace Jackson Davis senior night, that would just be a bad look for the program overall and it actually could spell doom for Indiana because they could be trailing in the wrong direction coming into the NCAA tournament because Indiana is a lock for the tournament but they have been up and down this season and you want to build momentum for March Madness so Indiana really needs this game as well to get back on track and get a big win for Trace Jackson Davis to send him off well with his last game at Assembly Hall but overall I think if Indiana does play hard on both sides of the ball and they give a much better defensive effort than they did against Iowa then they should win this game because Indiana struggled against Iowa on defense and that's why the Hawkeyes got the win and Michigan is not as good of an offensive team as Iowa so if Indiana plays good defense and they play really good on offense then they should get this win but Michigan will be a tough task and they are coming off a double overtime loss so they could be a little fatigued in this game I'm going to go with the Indiana Hoosers to beat the Michigan Wolverines 69-65 in this Big Ten regular season finale I think Michigan can win this game and I do think they're going to be a desperate team trying to get this big win to help propel them into March Madness and I think Jawan Howard will get his team ready because they're going to want revenge after losing by one point to Indiana on their home court earlier this season and I think overall that Michigan is a team that matches up fairly well with Indiana. They have players at every position that can slow down the Hoosers on offense, so I do think this will be a lower scoring game like the first game was, but I think that Indiana, they're going to find a way. The home crowd is going to be really loud in this game, and Trace Jackson Davis is going to do everything he possibly can not to lose on his senior night. Xavier Johnson could be returning in this game, and if he does, that could provide some lift for Indiana as well, but overall, I think Indiana is just going to play a lot harder than they did against Iowa. Iowa potentially could have been a letdown game after sweeping the Purdue Buller Makers, and I think Indiana is going to shake off off the Iowa loss, and they're going to turn back around, and they're going to play really hard against the Michigan Wolverines and get their first senior night win in four years, but they're going to have to play hard because Michigan will do everything they possibly can to spoil the Hoosier senior night and be able to propel themselves in the NCAA tournament, but I do think Indiana will get the job done in a close one, and I'm going to go with the Indiana Hoosiers to beat the Michigan Wolverines 69-65 at Assembly Hall on senior night in this Big Ten regular season finale. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content, like this video down below, comment down below whether you think Indiana or Michigan is going to win this Big Ten basketball basketball game and why, and I'll see you next time.